The wait is finally over. It's day one, race one. It's time for Cows Week. A very warm welcome to all competitors for this, the 198th Cows Week. It's fantastic to have you here with us in Cows on the classic Solent. I'm joined today by our team for the Musto Morning Briefing, and I'd like to introduce you to Emma Hattersley, who's going to tell us all about the weather. Emma, good morning. Hello, Oscar. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It's looking a bit light out in the Solent today, but uh, I'm assured that you're going to bring us wind. Yes, well it's very warm, so we're likely to see a sea breeze, so we need about 18 degrees over the mainland, which is likely to come around 10 o'clock this morning. We'll start to see little popcorn, cumulus clouds develop, and from that we'll see a nice southwesterly wind come up the western Solent. Initially kind of 10 to 12 knots, and then building as we go through the day. So by mid-afternoon, likely to see actually quite a moderate to strong southwesterly wind across kind of the western Solent with kind of 16 to 18 knots. In the east, more likely to be kind of 12 to 15 knots, but be aware that as that sea breeze comes in between the southwesterly sea breeze and the northwesterly wind that we're seeing right now, like to see some isolated um, light wind patches with not a huge amount of wind. So just wait for that sea breeze to come in, and most kind of likely areas to see the light winds kind of on the eastern shore of the Isle of Wight. Okay, that's fantastic. So best breeze in the west today, then. Very much. And so. maybe light on the mainland shore. I'm um, on the Isle of Wight shore. Most on the island shore, <laughs> just in the lee of the island. Yes. Perfect. That's great. And looking forward briefly to the week ahead. Yeah, so Sunday, um, a similar situation with the sea breeze, but we haven't got that nice northwesterly gradient to help it become a southwesterly. So we're likely to see two directions of sea breeze, a southwesterly sea breeze in the western Solent, southeasterly sea breeze in the eastern Solent. So I'm going to spend quite a lot of today trying to work out if there is a sailable wind within that. Monday, likely to be a lovely day, nice moderate easterly wind coming right off the continent. So we're likely to see kind of 10 to 12 knots from the east, nice and dry, nice and hot. Wouldn't want to say champagne sailing just yet, but it looks delightful at the moment. Tuesday, Wednesday, there's a low pressure coming up from Spain, so likely to see risk of heavy showers, maybe some thunderstorms and some southwesterly winds. And then Thursday, Friday, becoming more typical for what we've seen, unfortunately, this year, with a nice nor big northwesterly, big low pressure up towards the northwest of the country with a moderate to strong kind of southwesterly wind across the Solent. Fantastic. Sounds like a variable weather for Cows Week, <laughs> so a classic Cows Week. Thanks, Emma. Next, we have uh, Steve Cole, who is our race director this week. And Steve's going to tell us a little bit about what is going on with racing. We're just talking about light winds there for the start of today, and the tide is going to play a bit of a factor. Yeah, so we um, obviously had our pre-planning uh, meeting yesterday afternoon, and Emma explained uh, what was going to happen with the weather, and I'm glad to say it's uh, exactly as she said. Uh, yesterday, we amended the uh, schedule to uh, allow for the forecast. We've moved a few of the smaller black group boats off of the committee vessel so they don't have to make the trek up to the uh, committee vessel and um, swap them for the, the big boats that would have been starting on the line. So a bit of a swap around, but all in the, uh, all in the best interest of good racing. Perfect. So just starting with white group then, you mentioned some, some changes for white group. They'll be starting here on the squadron by the sounds of it? Uh, well, all of the white group, uh, yeah, and the smaller black group will be starting on the squadron line today. They'll be starting to the west and then racing uh, in the mid, mid Solent on the Bramble Bank and then finishing on the Breakwater Line. Fantastic. And so the big boats presumably heading west into the freshening sea breeze? Yep. So we're going to send the bigger black boats up to meet the wind that is coming down the Solent. They'll be starting from uh, CV1, which will be over by the Boss over towards Bewley. They'll race in the western Solent and then finish all downwind, normal classic Cow's Week finish under Spinnaker, downwind on the squadron line. Fantastic, that Cow's Week, Cow's Week downwind finish is uh, so iconic. Exactly. Now lots of people don't know that uh, we race for a trophy every day at Cow's Week and it's hosted by a different yacht club every day. Uh, today being the Royal Southampton Yacht Club and they very kindly provided their Queen's Cup trophy behind us. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big one. Where does this rank in the scale of trophies for Cow's Week? Um, I should think it's up there. It's certainly the right colour. For a, uh, for a nice trophy, a gold one. Um, so this was presented, I think, by Queen Victoria in 1897 to celebrate her Diamond Jubilee. So yeah, for the lucky winner will be struggling to lift that on Friday night. It's quite a hefty trophy. It is a hefty trophy. Yeah. Perfect, thank you, Steve, that's fantastic. We're always excited to tell the stories of previous winners at Cows Week, and we caught up with Andy and Josh, last year's class winners, to tell us a bit about their experience. So Andy Beadsworth, Cows Week 2024, welcome. Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? It's scary. Andy, you and I have been doing this a long time. Tell me about Josh, your 14-year-old son. 
So yeah, I've been done the last three cows. Well, this is the third cows week sailing with my son Joshua. Um, we've done it in the actuals now and with another one of his young mates, which is uh, it's great fun for me bringing on some of the young guys. I always used to be the youngest on the boat. Now I'm significantly older than everybody. But last year you won in yeah. Etchells. Yeah, we did, yeah. You won at 13 last year. Uh, yeah, 13. Pretty good. Yeah, that's too bad. Pretty good. You've got quite a few years to go till you catch up with your dad for wins, though. I don't think, I don't think too long. I'm not sure I've won it that many times. <laughs> so, what do you enjoy about sailing cows with, Andy? I love, I mean, I've been really loving sailing with family and, you know, I've done it the two years and it's been a great atmosphere on the boat, great racing, great competition. It's, I enjoy the social, the beer. Josh shakes more hands in cow's wheat than he does for the rest of the year. So it's a bit like a school reunion when I come back and see everybody I haven't seen for a long time. So Very nice. It's Very great nice. fun. Well, I am sailing actuals against you this year, so let's keep it all clean. All clean. Which boat are you in? Uh, the Plant Hunter, 1353. Three. We'll look out for you. So we'll see you out there. Yep. Thanks very much and good luck. Thank you, you too. That's all for today's Musto Morning Briefing. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow morning at the same time.